Hello and welcome to Teach to Learn, the channel in which I teach concepts so you can learn them and I can better understand them. Right now we're going to be learning how to use destructuring assignment with the rest parameter to reassign array elements. In some situations involving array destructuring, we might want to collect the rest of the elements into a separate array. The result is similar to array prototype slice or the slice method of objects and well arrays which are a special type of object as shown below. Remember that methods are simply actions that can be performed on objects. So below we have our array destructuring being used with the const keyword and we are setting variables a, b, and a, r, r using the rest parameter right here. And we are using the assignment operator to refer to an array containing values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7, meaning that the values will be extracted from, the, from this array and assigned to these variables right here. So then variables a and b are logged into the console, and our variable arr, which was declared with the rest parameter, will be also logged into the console. And the console will display the values 1, 2, and an array of 3, 4, 5, and 7. So variables a and b take the first and second values from the array. So a and b take numbers 1 and 2. After that, because of the rest parameter's presence, arr gets the rest of the values in the form of an array, as you can see right here, 3, 4, 5, and 7. Let's copy this code into the code editor so you can see it in the console. And there you go. We get individual values of 1 and 2 for variables a and b, and we get the rest of the values in the form of an array containing values 3, 4, 5, and 7, which are the values that remain. So the rest element only works correctly as the last variable in the list as in you cannot use the rest parameter to catch a subarray that leaves out the last element of the original array. So before we move on to the challenge, I would like to provide a quick explanation of array prototype slice or the slice method. Let's just use a, let's use an array for that. So let's use the const keyword to declare our array and let's call it actors and assign it an array containing string values of Let's do De Niro first. De Niro. De Niro. Now let's do Nicholson. Nicholson. Now let's do Phoenix. And finally, let's do Hopkins. I believe all of these are Oscar winners, right? Hopkins. So we have our array right here. And what splice is, splice is simply, slice, excuse me, is simply a method that when, when used, returns a copy of the selected values of an array. So you can use a starting value with the slice method, which I'll just, I'll just, um, I'll just show you right now. So console log, and let's do actors, which is our array, and then slice and set our initial value to zero. You don't need to um, place the zero, but I just do it to show you that it will give you all the values. So by understanding array indexing, we know that our first value at position zero is De Niro. So what the slice method does is that when you set an, an initial value, it takes that initial value and continues returning the rest of the elements in that array. So as you can see in the console, we get all our values. So we get De Niro, we get Nicholson, we get Phoenix, and we get Hopkins. But what's interesting about this is we can also set an end value to represent where we want our, our slice method to stop returning the values of arrays to us. So um, if we go, we start it at zero, and then at one, we have Nicholson, at two, we have Phoenix, and at three, we have Hopkins. Let's say we want it to stop at Hopkins. So we wanted it to stop, meaning that we, we don't want Hopkins to be returned. So we just go and set three to our end value. And as you can see, it goes De Niro, Nicholson, and Phoenix, and leaves the value that we set as our end value out. So 
we can leave Hopkins out. This is different to array to array destructuring because, as they explained right here, you cannot use the rest parameter to catch a subarray that leaves out the last element of the original array. We did just that by using slice. What we can do with um, the the destructuring assignment is we can, for example, in this array right here, which contains the neuro as the first value, what we can do is the following. So I've already explained the slice method right here. We can do is we can use array destructuring in the following way. So let's call it, we set variable A right here, which would contain the value of De Niro when referring to the actors array. Let's call the remainder of our values actors array. And use our assignment operator to refer to our original actors array. So let's just simply type out actors. And then if we go into the console, so console log actors array, we will see that we get our, our three values in our array, leaving out De Niro. So we skipped our first and got the remaining three. So it's very similar, but the destructuring assignment when used with arrays cannot leave out the final value. So keep that in mind now that you know how to use both. So let's move on to the challenge now that that's out of the way. Let's reset our code. And we are tasked with using the destructuring assignment with the rest parameter to perform an effective array prototype slice so that ARR is a subarray of the original array source with the first two elements omitted. Very similar to what we have just done. So before we do anything, firstly, we have source, a variable source declared with the const keyword, meaning that it is read only and assigned an array with number values, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Below that, we have a function called remove first two. And as an argument, it is going to take a list, meaning an array that will be passed on to it. So then we have that our function is doing the following. Function contains a block of code that declares variable ARR with the const keyword and assigns it the list. So the argument that we just passed on to it and then returns that array. We do not want that because if we do that, then all that will happen is well, console log ARR. All that'll happen is that we'll get our same original array with a different name. So we get two variables with the same exact array. We do not want that. What we want to happen is that the first two elements of our array are removed and we get the remaining elements in the form of an array also. So how do we, how do, we do that? Pretty simple. We need to use array destructuring. So right now we simply open our brackets right here and we need to skip the first two elements. So we can do that by using something we've seen in previous videos. We simply use commas to skip over those initial values. So one, two, we are, we've officially skipped those first two values, one and two. And then we use the spread operator to the, the rest parameter, excuse me, in order to return the rest of the values in the form of an array. So dot, 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 our ellipsis right there. And what this code is now doing, it is skipping these two values and referring to our original array source, when called upon right here, and returning the remainder of our elements in the form of an array. So when we go into the console, console log ARR, we will see that we get a new array with the first two values eliminated or omitted. And we are now officially done with this challenge, as you can see right there. And that's it for now. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I really appreciate it. This has been your beard recording friend, Teach to Learn, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.